Welcome back. This is part two of the pneumatics unit. We are going to take a look at using Teflon tape and making connections. We're also going to take a look at the different style connections and also how to attach the hose to the said connections. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the two different types of connectors used for the pneumatic tubing. We've got both a male and a female version of the connectors here. The male connector has an extrusion that the tubing fits around and it locks into place. As you can see here, the male version is going to be used for our purpose on some of our older equipment. And we also have the new female version of the pneumatic system. As you notice here, there is an opening here that the tubing is inserted into. This plastic outside ring here actually presses and depresses and that allows you to actually pull off the pneumatic tubing. Both of these pieces here do need a coat of thread, uh, of tape, and this tape is thread sealing tape. We're going to take just a small strip, open it up, break it off, and if you notice it kind of gets a little stringy. I'm going to take my male connector here first and I am going to just lightly lay it across. I am going to line it up so that my tape goes over the threads as you see here, but I'm not going past the actual mouth or the opening where the air gets pushed into. The reason being is because as my air is getting pushed into this, if I have tape here, it's going to restrict the airflow and it won't actually allow me to go in. So I now kind of tightly loose, tighten this tape around here with my finger. I'm going to take my air tank and I'm just going to gently thread it on there with a hand tightening first and then after I've hand tightened it I'm going to grab my pliers and I'm going to manually twist her into place so that it has a nice tight fit once it's got that tight fit, it's not coming loose, I can move on to my next one, which is my female connection. Again, pull a small strip of tape, break it off, and I'm going to lay it so that my tape does not cover the opening like this. I want to actually have it go down just a little bit. It's okay if you got the first couple threads showing on the screw as long as you've got a good portion that allows it to seal. You do not want to apply too much tape to these seals because sometimes applying too much tape you won't be able to actually thread the screw into the tanks and that causes more issues than not. So I am just going to lightly screw that in, grab my pliers here again, grip and hold and twist until I got a nice snug fit. And that is making those connections. Next I'm going to take some of my tubing and with the tubing if you take a look I want to have a nice square clean cut. So for this instance I'm going to take and cut a nice square portion off of my tubing just to make sure it's nice and clean. I don't want to have any burrs on there. And once I've got it nice and square I'm going to take and just insert it all the way in until I feel that it doesn't go any further and now I can pull and it's not coming loose but if I push my little plastic piece in it breaks free so I'm going to push that in so it's nice and snug I'm going to grab my second one here that has the dial gauge I've already threaded and tightened that up and on the male side I am just going to push it so that it's inserted all the way in as such and that doesn't come out nice and easy either and then I'm done